Hi. So the question for discussion five, discussion board five is, in terms of drug policy, what is the major lesson we can learn from the information presented in the documentary? So after watching the documentary, I quickly realized there's a big lesson that needs to be learned by the drug market and society in general. I think it's a big lesson not to release drugs without doing enough research, especially the amount of dangerous drugs they've released to the market and have it so easy and accessible to just make at home. I think it's also a big lesson for society also to just be spreading awareness and educate ourselves about the harmful effects of these drugs. Um, in the video, it mentioned for the past decade, the US and Canada has been hit really hard with the overdose crisis. And this is mainly fueled by fentanyl, which is a synthetic opioid. Also, a few years ago, the pandemic made drug addiction a lot worse and more widespread in certain areas. And a lot of harm reduction services were also cut due to the pandemic as well, making it harder for others to get access to help and treatment. Um, the chemicals in labs are now being combined with fentanyl to make much more dangerous and addictive drugs, um, such as benzos and a few other drugs that were mentioned in the video. Um, fentanyl is 50 times more potent than heroin, as said in the video, and has led to at least 250,000 deaths in the U.S. and Canada combined. Um, fentanyl is such a big issue because it's so easy to make at home, and you can make a lot of money off it, and it only takes a few hours to make also, making it easy to make a lot of batches. Um, but there is a big difference between fentanyl and heroin. Um, in the video, we learn that heroin, if you ingest it, it most likely will last you all day and all night. So people really only need to ingest it one or two times. Um, but with, with fentanyl, the people need their fixes around every few hours. So it's constant like throughout the day and throughout the night. So it's very highly addictive. Um, benzo dope is also created um, from a mix of chemicals, including fentanyl. Last month, it was um, known that benzo, benzo was found present in 50% of drug overdoses, fatal overdoses, which is a huge percentage of overdoses. Therefore, it's a very big issue. Um, fentanyl hitting the market was basically already a crisis in itself, but now it's just much more dangerous because we have benzo in the fentanyl, making it a lot more harmful and addictive. Um, it's also really hard to find a dealer who you can really trust not to make their cuts with benzos because benzos make people want to come back and keep buying because it's so addictive. Um, so it's hard to find a dealer that's trustworthy in that sense. Um, in my opinion, I think there needs to be more encouragement to keep fentanyl clean and safe because fentanyl has killed hundreds of thousands of people and is in fact still safer than benzos. I thought it was really interesting actually that in Switzerland, they try to curb overdose deaths by having a fentanyl addiction program. And some doctors have even prescribed a safe dose, safe dose of fentanyl to those who are severely addicted to all opioids. But these safe programs are very hard to access, making it almost impossible for people to get into. But overall, I think it's a really big lesson for the drug market not to release these harmful drugs, especially with not enough research on them and statistics on them and have it so easy and accessible to make at home.